I've quickly just done my hair and makeup this morning because I am on an absolute mission in this vlog today. Today is the day that my little Camille scarf pattern comes out. So I've got a whole list of stuff that I need to get done really quickly. And yes, please ignore the mess and chaos in this room. That's also on my list of stuff to get done today. Because we're gonna go and take some pictures so I can get them all ready and prepared for the launch of my Camille scarf pattern on Ravelry and Instagram in about, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half. I had already taken some pictures, but I was feeling like they weren't quite perfect. So I'd like to snap just a few more to make sure that I get it exactly right. And now before I do, I've just got to put on my jewelry. And yeah, I've kind of fancied doing a little bit of a chatty kind of daily vlog today, just cause today is supposed to be really packed with all sorts of activities. I've got my pattern launch this morning and then I should be getting two whole yarn deliveries which I'm really excited about. One of which will contain the Knitting for Olive Pure Silk that I'm going to use for a test knit. So that's really really exciting um, and I feel like I'm finally going to start my summer projects in earnest and I invite you to follow along. And we've got my outfit for the Camille Scarf photo shoot today. I've just got a really big oversized blue cotton shirt, my comfy beige trousers and I will be putting on my scarf for the photos in just a minute. I sort of feel like this outfit is a little bit kind of coastal grandma. I don't know, uh, I'm kind of living for it to be honest. First things first, I'm setting myself up in what is probably the brightest corner of my room just because I want plenty of light in my photos. This is quite a dark room actually um, when the sun isn't sort of shining directly through the windows so I do have to be a little bit strategic about where I take my photos but I like it up against this blank white wall over here and so that's what I'm going to do. I've got my second tripod with my phone on it. I do tend to take a lot of my photos for Instagram on my phone just because of the ease of doing that even if I do often like the pictures that I can take on my camera until I kind of get a bracket that will turn it sideways I think it's just a lot easier to go for my phone for the time being so yeah, uh, let's get started I reckon that this is probably my favourite way to wear it. I feel this way it sort of looks like a little necktie but there are several ways that you can wear it so I'm quite chuffed with this pattern. I think that it's very classic and it can look quite cool. I sort of feel a little bit bohemian when I wear it with a big oversized cotton shirt and I hope that you guys love it too. So now our next step is that I have to get all my pictures off my phone onto my computer, sort through my favourite ones and then maybe make one or two little tweaks if there's something out of place or if the lighting is just a little bit off and then they will be ready to put up on Instagram for the launch of my pattern. Now to quickly sort through them and just try and see which ones really, really stand out to me and give them a little heart. That's quite cute. And I want, as I said, a good mix of all the styles. My favourite way to wear it is definitely the neckerchief way, but I do want to show it being worn kind of as like a little bandana, just because I know people do like to wear it like that too. So I need a good mix. And I don't know about you, but I kind of hate looking at pictures of myself. For the longest time I didn't post any pictures of my face on Instagram and I was kind of convinced that I never would just because, I don't know, there's something sort of unhealthy about looking at pictures of yourself, I feel, but when you're trying to share a product I do think that it looks good if you can actually see somebody's face and you can kind of see it in proportion to how they look, I suppose. Now what I'm doing is I'm just double checking and going over all of the details on my Ravelry page for this design. 
I really love how Ravelry makes it really straightforward and intuitive to upload your patterns. Anyway, I'm just going to double check all of my notes just to make sure that I have all the design details in there. I already checked over them yesterday, so it should be all okay. But what I want to do is I want to upload one more of the pictures of it worn just so that people can have a little different perspective. These are the five that I finally narrowed it down to. So now that my pattern's live, the last thing I have to do is say a big thank you to all my lovely testers. They were so great working on this pattern. And I'll just stop for a little bit of lunch and try and get in a few rows of knitting on my camisole that I'm making at the moment. because all my yarn is finally here. I've got two pretty big parcels, quite a lot of yarn in here. This one is from an online shop that I really like shopping at here in Italy. They have a great selection. And in here I've got some knitting for Olive, which I'll show you in a minute. And in here, which is super exciting, I have a huge parcel from Hobby. They kindly hooked me up with some yarn and so I won't be revealing everything in here to you. I'll give you a little sneak peek just because I am going to film a full review of everything that they sent me. But yeah, it feels like Christmas in here at the moment and I cannot wait to rip these open and just start knitting. The first batch of yarn I want to show you today is this load that I got for a test knit and one project that I really want to make in the next few weeks. So for my test knit, which I'll show you the pattern for in a minute, I got a lot of this Knitting for Olive Pure Silk in the shade, let me just have a look, Deep Petroleum Blue. And it's this really, really lovely sort of deep moody navy that I think will be really, really gorgeous in this pretty bow tie top that I'm gonna knit with it. And the other thing that I got, which I thought looked very interesting and feels lovely and soft actually in my hands, is this fair cotton. So it's 100% organic cotton from Kadcha. And my idea with this is to maybe knit myself um, a new pattern for a little halter top. I'm still playing around with a few different ideas for it, but again, I think that this is just such a lovely, deep, kind of dark, gorgeous shade. Now, alongside all of this lovely yarn that I ordered for myself, I also got an amazing, massive <laughs> shipment in from Hobby. Now, they very generously reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try and review some of their yarns. And I've got a whole video planned to make all about reviewing their yarn. So I'll just give you a very, very quick sneak peek of this because there will be a full video coming very soon. And you'll be able to see, I did sort of stick with a theme color wise. So I've got a lot of kind of sandy shades, I've got some cotton, some lovely tweed, this kind of toffee orange colour which looks really interesting and then also a couple of whoop, <laughs> different types of mohair which I'm really interested to try out because I know that some of my testers did actually try this Diablo mohair when they knit my Claudia sweater a few months back. So I've been itching to try this because I want to see just how fluffy and soft it is when it's knit up. But yeah, enough about this for now because there will be a full review coming and I also hope, fingers crossed, I'll be able to make a whole sort of mini capsule wardrobe out of these lovely yarns that they kindly sent to me. So this is my super chaotic yarn drawer. I did actually organise this, if you can believe, only a few months ago, or sorry, a few days ago rather, but it's become all messy again. Um, but still, I'll be able to find a place for some of these new balls somewhere. 
Now, as some of you may well know, I am not somebody who has a huge stash most of the time. So this is probably the most amount of yarn I've ever owned, to be completely honest. And you've still not actually got too many balls in here. I don't imagine myself ever being one of those people that kind of has a giant wall of balls of yarn um, waiting to be used, just because I don't know, I, I plan out my projects and I tend to buy things with a precise reason in mind. <laughs> and yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you is all of these swatches which I've made, um, most of which were actually for design ideas that I had. So I wanted to test out the gauge and see if it was right. But I've got a plan in the next few months to maybe do a kind of home decor video in which case I would think about framing all of these and maybe switching them out depending on the season and what type of colour I want in the room. I think that that could be really fun. And the other thing in here is these two balls of Drops Air. I'm going to keep these near the top because I do have some plans for them in the next few weeks. I reckon they could be a really cute crop top just because the alpaca content in this makes it really soft and it could make it nice for wearing quite close to the skin as well. And yeah, this is Drops Sky, I believe. Even though there's no uh, ball band, these are pretty full and it should be enough to make a good size crop top. Now, the next thing that I needed to get sorted today was, as I mentioned, casting on the test knit that I signed up for. A lot of people have already started testing this top, but I hope since I'm holding two strands of pure silk together, I'll be able to knit it up quite quickly. Um, and I have quite a bit of time in the next couple of days to just try and really power through it. So yeah. I should make the deadline okay. Now this pattern looks really really gorgeous so far. The thing that really attracted me to it were the pretty bow details around the shoulders which I just think are perfect. In fact I sort of had it in mind to make something like that myself before I saw the opportunity to test knit this so I just couldn't pass it up. And this pattern so far is knit on straight needles, but I have adapted it because the designer told me I could to knit it in the round. Just because personally, if I'm knitting up, because um, it is knit from the bottom up, bottom up, a whole body of sort of stockinette up to about here before I start separating for the shoulders, I definitely want to do that in the round instead of doing that flap and then seaming it up. I'm sort of a bit allergic to the idea of having to seam something. I've never done it in full garment before and my understanding is that it was extremely popular in older knitting patterns but since people now use um, circular needles much more than straight needles, at least in my knitting sphere, now people tend to just make a lot of seamless designs instead which personally I think I would prefer even if I was somebody who wasn't so um, averse to seeming. Now that I've accomplished a few of the things that I needed to get done today it's time to really sit down and just enjoy a few rows of knitting. And you can see I've managed to do quite a bit already of this test knit and I have to say it's an absolute joy to work this pure silk in two strands. It gives it such a nice thickness and this is going to knit up so quickly on these 5mm needles. So thank you so much for following along with my little vlog today and coming along with me while I launched my new Camille scarf pattern. It's always so exciting bringing new designs into the world. It can be quite an overwhelming time just because there are so many sort of moving parts going on at once when you release a new pattern but the satisfaction of having it out there and sharing it with the knitting community always makes the hard work and the time and the stress worth it at the end. 
I hope you enjoyed my video today and I will see you again next week. Bye!